turn in your Bibles, please, to the book of Romans. Good thing I cut my sermon in half last week. You can get another half a sermon in here today. Romans chapter 15, verses 5 through 12 is where we hope to spend our time in God's Word this morning. As you're turning to Romans chapter 15, I'll put a well-worn quote up here on the screen for us. In essentials, unity. In non-essentials, liberty. In all things, charity. While this is a true statement, I think it's worn out as welcome with me. Everyone seems to like this, but I think uh, most of us don't understand the truth of this statement. And I think this statement has been abused by many self-seeking preachers to try to gather a following of people around themselves instead of a following of people who are genuinely united for the truth. What do I mean by that? In essentials unity and non-essentials liberty and all things charity is a great statement. It's a true statement. Uh, however, you have to ask questions about statements like this. Anytime a statement becomes a watchword for the church, you have to challenge the assumptions. Uh, ask, what do we mean by what we're stating here? Essential to what? What exactly are we trying to accomplish? What is our goal? If you're going to determine what is essential and non-essential, well, then you better be pretty sure what your mission is. And if you don't know what your mission is, then you don't know what is essential to that mission. Right? What is our mission? Is our mission to get 500 people worshiping here on a Sunday morning? No, that's not our mission. Is our mission to have a multi-staff, successful-looking ministry? No, that's not our mission. If that's your mission, then what is essential to that mission is very different from what is essential to the mission of Jesus Christ. The mission of Jesus Christ is given to us in Matthew chapter 28. Uh, you probably know it well.